Streets leading into some areas of Pretoria remain blocked. Burning objects serve as barricades. Travel has been severely affected across the South African capital. Protests and looting continue, leaving a trail of destruction. Initially, it was reported that the protesters were members of the ruling ANC. Police say they now suspect criminal elements hijacked those demonstrations. Both government and the ruling party have dismissed the violence as thuggery and hooliganism. And say it has nothing to do with the ANC's choice of Pretoria mayoral candidate. We are saying to them they must understand that a proper process has been followed. And once a proper process has been followed, that, that's the way to go. So we will be engaging them uh, throughout the week. We'll, as, as I say, that the branches themselves will be met uh, at, at some point. We continue to go to communities and we call for tolerance, for calm, no breaking of property, burning and looting, because that's not the way we do things. South Africa's Independent Electoral Commission is calling on all political parties to speak out and act against those spreading violence in the country. It says that would undermine the conditions needed for free and fair elections. The Electoral Con uh, Commission therefore condemns in strongest possible terms all unlawful conduct and any behavior which contravenes the Electoral Code of Conduct and undermining our democratic processes and the creation of an environment that is conducive to free and fair elections. Police are deployed throughout hotspots to monitor the situation. They use rubber bullets to break up protests in at least one area. At least 40 people have been arrested in connection with the unrest. The situation remains calm but tense. Defense Minister Nosi Viewe Mapisa Ngakula says the National Defense Force will not be deployed at this stage, but that they will do so as an absolute last resort. Yolisa Njamela, CCTV in Pretoria.